Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here in the back room with Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back. We've done it again. We've made it to the very end. It's the last guitar of the day for the week. Thank God. Okay, it's been a long week, you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Hummingbird from yesterday. Bye bye. Bye Felicia. Yeah, that one sold really quick. Broke a lot of hearts. At least 10 different people today wanted to buy that guitar. Gotta be quick, man. Sorry, it's gone. Don't worry. There's all sorts of other fun stuff to show you coming up here. You'll find something else that you like. Trust me. All right. Uh, also, don't forget um, to uh, submit your set list for the week to Jen. Uh, we'll be picking a new winner for some free uh, merchandise on Tuesday. Even if you're out of the country, we did have had a foreign. We've had two foreign winners now, right? Yeah. We don't mind putting it on Norm's tab. You don't need it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, it brings me extreme pleasure to say these next three words. It's freaking Strategy. Come on back. <laughs> oh, you're gonna like it. This is from 1955. Ooh. Original Fender Stratocaster. Two color sunburst finish on a one piece ash body, bake light parts. One of the cleanest maple necks I've ever seen. Look at that. It's freaking stupid. That's a piece of ash. Look at that. Guys, there's something else we got to talk about this guitar. Norm was very, very, very excited on the phone um, when he was by, uh, by the way, the cover, strap, original cable. Got an appraisal here from Groon Guitars for $75,000. That's his appraisal price. You know, that's what I'm just saying. Guys, Norm was so thrilled when he bought this guitar he was telling me mark you have to see this strat you're going to freak out when you see this strat so when it got here the other day we opened it up and i looked at it and i picked it up and i felt it i was like norm i've already sold this guitar <laughs> guys what do you say <laughs> this guitar was the very first guitar of the day episode this guitar was episode one Wow. of guitar of the day back on february 26th of 2016 and over the course of almost three years now it's made its way back and it's just as bitching as it was when it left man this guitar is actually part of the reason why guitar of the day exists i had sold it and we were about to pack it up and ship it and i was like this is crazy i can't send this guitar out of here without at least kind of trying to archive it in some way. So we decided to film a video with it. We watched it earlier today. It's hilarious. It's a minute and 55 seconds long. First episode of Guitar of the Day. <laughs> I did say all EQs at noon and a little bit of reverb though. It's nuts. I didn't realize. I, I said that since episode one. But this is the guitar that was on episode one of Guitar of the Day. We're 625 episodes later. It's made its way back home to norms. Wow. So... Other than the serial number in the case, this is basically a 54 Strat. It's got all of the exact same appointments. Doesn't have the super short skirt knobs, but we still have the short Bakelite knobs. We have the football switch tip, and Bakelite cover. we got Bakelite covers. No cracks on the pickup covers. We still have the round string retainer. It's basically all 54 specs. It doesn't have the, uh, the form fit case. And it's got a 55 serial number on it instead of 54. But it's kind of the same thing. Look at the body. That is crazy. one piece ash body. And look at the grain. It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. There's, look at the neck. Look at the wear on the neck. I'm going to venture to say this person played a lot of C and a lot of G. Because... I don't think they really got outside of that position. Maybe D right here too. Some yes, A chords. This is what we call just in the cowboy chords. Guys, these finishes are so thin. I could put that much wear on this guitar in a weekend. I could I could burn a bigger hole in a weekend. I don't know how close you can get in on the finish on this. This is not like the 60s strats, guys. This this is like the way that they finish these guitars, it's almost like you're looking at a piece of furniture. It's so incredibly delicate. It just, it really just gracefully sits on the surface of the guitar and then it sinks in 
If you see it across the grain lines, you can just see how that finish is just sunken in over time. It's like a really just like a beautiful piece of like Danish modern furniture or something, but it's not. It's a freaking guitar. And you can play rock and roll with it. Unbelievable. A little bit of wear from where it, you know, sat on his leg while he played those two chords. <laughs> it's unreal. From episode one. I gotta watch it. I'm sure a lot of you guys will go back and watch it now. I'll put it up on the thing. I had the leather jacket on. It was okay. so fresh and crisp. Did I even say anything? No. Oh, damn. There was no oohs or ahs or anything. Damn. Guys, let's go to the couch, plug it in. It's freaking Stratterday, baby. This is the good stuff. All right, we're out front. We have the 1955 Fender Stratocaster two color sunburst on one piece ash body. We're going through the 64 Custom Deluxe Reverb again today from Fender. All EQs at noon. Just a little bit of reverb. Let's start up on that neck pickup all by itself. Let's see what this thing can do. Itself. Let's see what we got there. One piece ash body, two tone sunburst Fender Stratocaster, baked light parts, covers, knobs, football tip. It's basically a 54 Strat, the different serial number, a few months later, slightly different case. But that's everything a Stratocaster should be. Look at that thing, man. Oh, there's your freaking Stratterday. I hope you enjoyed it. It doesn't get much better than that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Make sure you submit your set list to Jen right now for the week, and we'll uh, get you in the giveaway on Tuesday's episode. It's going to be a killer telly Tuesday, too. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Peace. Bye. Dude, seriously. Bye.